Hey everyone, welcome to creating cross-platform games with Xamarin Volume 1. My name is Amerigo Moscaroli and I am a senior software developer. I have been developing Xamarin mobile games for the last two years and have released three games on the App Store and the Android Play Store. I've also previously written tutorials for creating OpenGL ES games with Android. In this course we're going to be creating cross-platform game engine. In the first section we're going to start with OpenTK and creating the windows. We're going to be creating OpenGL views for both iOS and Android and we're going to be rendering our first display. We're going to be using Visual Studio along with Xamarin to create cross-platform games and we're going to be using OpenTK to wrap the OpenGL calls. In this section we're also going to be learning how we can handle different device resolutions. By the end of this section we'll be creating an OpenGL view for both Android and iOS and displaying a green screen. Then in the next section we're going to be looking at preparing to draw objects. We're first going to look at creating a camera class and then move on to the canvas which will be used to draw all the objects. We're also going to be looking at shaders, creating a vertex and a fragment shader. Then we're going to look at creating a generic drawable object before finally moving on to loading textures on different platforms. In section 3 we're going to look at drawing the first objects, so we're going to be learning how to draw sprites, animated sprites and text. By the end of this section we'll have example sprites, animated sprites and text displayed all over our game on both Android and iOS. Then in the final section we're going to look at adding the final engine essentials. This will include handling touches on both Android and iOS, as well as playing audio files on both platforms, and then finally creating a simple state system. By the end of this course, you'll be able to have an understanding of the OpenGL rendering system. You'll also understand how to make generic platform independent code, which we then use to create the cross-platform engine, which we can use for multiple mobile games. For this course, the only requirements are a basic c -sharp or programming understanding, as well as a minimum of Visual Studio 2015. It would also be useful to understand how Visual Studio works as well. So I hope you enjoy the course and I look forward to teaching you all about cross-platform mobile games.